What is going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a contextual menu, kind of like what I'm doing in my game here, where I can right click on an object and get this nice little menu with all these different buttons and options. Uh, so I can use this to pick up this item like so. I can also use it to walk around, so I can walk over here. So it's a pretty cool menu and um, I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna close my game. Okay, so I went ahead and created a new project here, and the only thing that I have loaded in right now is a single sprite. And this is basically going to be the sprite for our buttons for the menu. And uh, I went ahead and named it SPR under slash C, which stands for contextual C menu button. And this can be whatever size you want. Mine's probably a little bit bulky. I just use something random. But uh, again, you can change the sprite to whatever looks good for your project. It really doesn't matter the size as long as it's obviously not too huge. Uh, but this will work for now. So it's just a little gray box. Next, we'll go ahead and create an object. And we'll go ahead and name this obj under slash c menu init and in this we're going to create a create event and we're going to then make what's called an enumerator so we just say enum and then we'll name it c menu and we'll put some curly brackets here and um basically we're going to put on the 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 names of our buttons so for this tutorial we'll just have three buttons i guess we'll name it pick up and uh, we'll give that the value of zero drop we'll give that the value of one and um how about eat <laughs> and we'll give that the value of two okay so pretty cool now i know i, I can already see the comment someone's going to say you don't have to assign it values um i'm just assigning this values because um I'm just doing it so it's just habit and it's not hurting anything so uh, basically if you don't know what an enumerator is uh, basically you just create this somewhere now whenever we say C menu dot something like drop uh, whenever this shows up in code we're basically saying the number one whenever we say C menu dot eat we're basically saying the number two it's almost like a variable but you can't change it ever it's just always forever going to mean whatever uh, data you put in here so they're pretty cool they're very useful uh, okay so we created some enumerators and um, that's just to make things easy as we code along in our projects next we want to create a DS map um, actually first we'll create this global variable and this is an impromptu tutorial so hopefully I don't mess up a lot. I probably won't, but we'll see. I probably will actually. Anyway, uh, global dot number of buttons, and we have three buttons, so we'll just go ahead and say that. Next, we want to create a DS map, so we'll say global dot uh, C menu um, uh, grid, and then we'll say DS map create. Okay, and now we want to uh, actually populate our DS map and we're going to basically give these buttons some titles or some text so there's two ways you can add da data to a DS map um, the first way is just by regular uh, GML which is DS map add and then we could say global dot C menu under slash grid which is the name of the grid then we give it a key which um, the key is going to be C menu dot pick up and then we assign the value which is a string which is pick up so that's one way uh, another way is by what's called an accessor which we could just say global dot C menu under slash grid and then these uh, square brackets and then a question mark and then we we put in uh, our key which is C menu dot pick up and then we end the square brackets and then we can just say equal pick up and uh, that's another way to do it and it's the way that I prefer and it's the way that we're gonna do it in this tutorial as well uh, so let's go ahead and delete this DS map add I'm gonna delete that because this does the same thing um, and it's a little bit easier to use so C menu grid question mark C menu dot drop equals drop 
So again, in our contextual menu, we want to have text. So this is just assigning each button the text that we that we want. And uh, lastly, C menu dot eat equals um, eat. Pretty easy, right? So whenever we call this piece of code, it's going to say pick up. Whenever we call this piece of code, it's going to say drop. Whenever we type out this piece of code, it's going to say eat. Pretty easy. So we want to go ahead and open our room, which I don't like that black background. Let's change it to a nice, a nice pretty blue. And uh, in our instances layer, we want to go ahead and drag this uh, object C menu in it. Okay. So as of right now, nothing's really gonna happen, but let's go ahead and create another object called, uh, let's close our room here. We'll create another object called obg, obj, sorry, uh, under slash C menu button, and we'll assign the sprite that we've already loaded. And um, basically what we wanna do is say, uh, let's see, left, press where's our mouse left pressed so whenever we click on this object we want to do a switch action um, and then we want to say case C menu dot uh, pick up show menu or show message you pick up an object. Break. KC menu dot drop. Show menu. You drop something. And lastly, C menu dot eat. Show message. You ate something. Okay, so again, we already declared these enumerators, so this equals zero this equals drop, this equals eat. This variable right here, action, is yet to be uh, you know, created. I'll show you what that's all about in a second, but this is just a basic switch. So if action equals zero, it's going to run this code. If action equals one, it's gonna run drop. If action equals two, it's gonna run this code right here. Um, and then we need to actually create, I don't know, Let's create a sprite, sprite under slash uh, food, I guess. And let's do our best to actually make some, make a <laughs> food. Let's make a hamburger. Uh, yeah, there we go. And and this this will be the bread. <laughs> and then uh, uh, we want we want some kind of beef in there, I guess, right? So let's go ahead and create the beef. Oh my gosh, this looks like a terrifying hamburger. Create the beef, and I guess we want... That <laughs> does not look like beef, guys. <laughs> okay, that, that's ketchup. This is not bloody diarrhea, it's ketchup. <laughs> oh yeah, and some lettuce. Okay, so this is our hamburger. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's go ahead and create an object now, and we'll call this um, object food. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is when we <laughs> when we right click on this food, we want our menu to appear. And uh, let's go ahead and create an add event: uh, mouse left breast. Delete this, and we're basically gonna create a for loop. And this for loop will create our buttons for our contextual menu. So we're gonna say for i equal, or var i equals zero. Um, then we're gonna say if i is less than global dot number of buttons, i plus equal one. Okay. Then we're gonna say var inst equals instance create depth. Uh, X Y depth minus one, which is important. That way, the menu appears above this this object. Um, object C menu button. Okay, and basically the let's see the action is going to be equal to I. Oops, ints dot action. 
So the inside action is going to be equal to i, which first i is going to be 0, then it's going to be 1, then it's going to be 2. Uh, inst.x equals x, inst.y equals y, and um, okay, that's about it. So this is where that action variable is coming from in this object. So again, whenever we say instance create depth or whatever, if we say inst equals this or whatever variable we want, uh, that's the instance ID, and then we can use that to start assigning variables, which is what we're doing there. Uh, okay, so so one last thing we need to do. Um, actually, the y should be equal to y plus. Okay, so we want what's what's our what's our uh, sprite height, which is 23. Okay, so we want 23. So back to object food, left press. We want the y to be equal to y plus 23 times i. Okay, that way the menu will appear uh, in a row instead of all on top of each other in the same exact place. Okay, um, let's go ahead and throw the food in the room. <laughs> let's go ahead and see what will happen, because I've done a lot of code, but let's see what will happen. Right click and nothing happens. Oh, left click. There we go. We have to left click. And there's our menu. So uh, it's just a bunch of it's just three squares right now. So let's go ahead and close this. Uh, let's open up our Object C menu button and let's add a draw GUI event. And basically we're just gonna say draw self, okay, and then draw text. And the text is just gonna be X, Y, and then global dot, what would, what would we name it? C menu under slash grid, a square bracket, question mark and then action so again action is the same action that's in our left pressed event so if action is equal to one uh, it's gonna run this code right here number one uh, it will give us this text if it's equal to two it'll give us this text if it's equal to three it will give us this text so very easy. Let's go ahead and run the run the code again. Left click. And there we go. Pick up, drop, eat. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, so let's just go ahead and make this text black. Run it again. OK, so when we click pick up, it says you picked up an object. If we click drop, it says you drop something. If we click eat, Oh, we dropped something a lot. If we click eat, you ate something. Okay. And the reason that was popping up multiple times is because every time I click this, it's actually clicking on the on this again and creating more buttons on the object food. So let's go ahead and close this. Let's let's add some bug fixing now. Uh, in the left pressed event of object food, let's say if exclamation mark instance exists. Um, let's say, uh, object C menu button. <laughs> so it's basically saying if we don't already have a menu, let's create a menu. Uh, then we want to say in our object C menu, uh, in our left press. So not only run this code, but then with object C menu button instance destroy. Actually, take this code, cut it, put it after your switch event. That way, after you click, um, it's going to destroy all of these objects. So now we shouldn't get multiple pop-ups. Left press. Let's go ahead and pick it up. You picked up an object. And the menu should destroy. Why didn't it destroy? Uh, drop. You dropped something. So we're not getting, we're not getting the multiple things. So. Um, what else will help? Let's object food. Let's change this to right. That'll fix most of our glitches right there. Mouse, right pressed. Now let's go ahead and check this out. Right, when we drop, you drop something, it's deleted. Okay, cool. Uh, right, click it, and then pick up. You picked up an object. Okay, cool. Uh, you ate an object. So, 
So now that menu is covering the object food, so we can fix that real quick as well. And basically, let's change under the object food right pressed event, where it says inst.x, change the x to mouse under slash x. Now it will create it wherever the mouse is, and, ma and y should be mouse under slash y. So now it will create it where the mouse is instead of, um, there you go, instead of directly over it, eat, you ate something, pick up. Okay. Uh, let's see, one more little thing we can add, and then I'll, that'll about do it for this video. Let's go ahead and close this. Uh, we can give it a little mouse over effect. So whenever we put our mouse over one of the buttons, it'll kind of highlight. So open up your sprite. Uh, go ahead and, and I'm gonna control C on this, control V to create two of them. I'm gonna click that second one. And um, I'm gonna make it a little bit, what do, you, what do you think? A little bit lighter. So, and I'm gonna make this one a little bit darker. Make that darker, make this lighter, okay? So we have two frames now in our sprite. One is dark, the first one is dark, the second one is lighter. So that way, oops, when we mouse over, it should get a little lighter. So in our object C menu button, let's create a create event and say image speed equals zero. And then we'll just go ahead and say in a, we could do this in a step event, I guess. Uh, we could say if, uh, point in rectangle mouse x mouse y uh, then let's see x y and then uh, x plus sprite uh, what width then y plus sprite height minus one the reason you want minus one is because otherwise you run the risk of highlighting two things at one time uh, if that's going on, then image index equals one, else image index equals two. Okay. Uh, let's see if that works. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. Impromptu tutorial. Right click, there we go. Whenever we mouse over, it's going to do a little highlight effect. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, a lot longer than normal, but hopefully this helped you guys out. It should work, drop, yep, you drop something, it's gone. Uh, tinker around with this. Maybe you can make the code a little bit better. Maybe you can tweak it so that it suits your needs. If you haven't joined our Discord, join our Discord. The link is in the description. Support me on Patreon if you'd like, if you'd like to see more of this uh, kind of stuff. And again, th this, this video was inspired by somebody who's actually on our Discord. And so maybe you have a question. Maybe you want to see something in your game. Maybe I can help you out. Maybe I can make you a video tutorial that will uh, give you some ideas. So uh, anyway, I'll see you guys next video. Check it out. We did it, guys.